Hope will arise out of the ashes of our past broken relationships, fractured families, and personal struggles. Come walk a mile with me as we allow Jesus to clean out the mess and organize the rest. Welcome to the Bridging Broken to Breakthrough podcast. I am your host, Maria Wingard. Grab your shoes, lace them up as we start strolling through this week's episode. Today, I'd like to spend a little time letting you get to know me. I am the owner and founder of Hope Will Arise Ministries. I love to embrace my primary roles as a wife to my husband, Coven, mother, and Nona, which is Italian for grandmother. Our fur babies, Fluffy the Princess Cat and Smokey, our beautiful Husky Lab, keep a close eye on our chickens and turkeys. I grew from my roots in Youngstown, Ohio as the daughter of an immigrant to branch out and bloom in the greater Cleveland area. I love to travel and minister as a Christian speaker, writer, and mentor. Through these roles, I believe in bringing the God-centered solution to loving life that facilitates healing the junk people struggle to hide. Hope will arise as you come walk a mile by joining me for some real talk in bridging broken to breakthrough by Jesus while we stroll through the bumps and bruises of life. I am far from perfect, but I hold the hand of our perfect King who promised to walk with us through tribulation. I've been walking this road for a while, so I've gathered a few campfire stories to share while you join me on this leg of my life's journey. I hope you will come grow with me as we learn about serving the Lord in our practical everyday lives. I love helping people believe that they can enjoy life because even when we can't change the prison of someone's opinion, that doesn't mean we have to be their prisoner. Jesus held my hand walking the divorce battlefield road of single motherhood for 13 years between my divorce and remarriage. I know personally that through God, hope will arise from the trauma of divorce and remarriage to grant anyone an ability to walk healthy and whole in this journey called life. Along with mentoring and coaching others how to biblically walk the divorce road, I personally know the hardships a divorce can cause emotionally, relationally, and financially. I face these challenges again in my remarriage by combining our families and finances. You can recover from devastation. Hope Will Arise focuses on encouraging the Bride of Christ to seek out God's will for our lives as we embrace inner healing, self-evaluation, marriage, blended families, relationships, finances, and the disciplines of self-care. I see many people struggling with which way to turn in their life as they are lost in the daily grind just trying to survive. Peace in the storm is available through Jesus. True peace comes when the truth of the gospel changes your mindset from struggling with depression and hopelessness into hope and joy. I firmly believe in allowing Jesus to bring healing to our soul wounds which facilitates peace and brings hope to the individual as well as within their family. My husband Kevin and I also speak into having marketplace careers. We believe in operating with excellence in all that we do career-wise for God's glory. I had a 17-year banking career, while Kevin's engineering humor is that he only drives the trains. Health, physically, mentally, and emotionally, doesn't always come from medicine. The majority of the time, it will come from your relationship with God, physical relationship with others, not derived from a screen, peace in your mind, contentment in your heart, and healing in your soul. We all have an emotional junk drawer. It's time to face your junk by allowing Jesus to clean out the mess and organize the rest. More often than not, our outlook has nothing to do with circumstances and everything to do with the matters of the heart. Committing to a healthier lifestyle, both spiritually and physically, is just that, a commitment. And it's a big one, and it'll take a lot of dedication. But believe me when I tell you, it will be worth it. It's time to invest in yourself 
It's time to stop waiting for motivation. Trust me, you're never going to feel motivated. Procrastination is simply fear of the unknown. It's time to break old habits and establish new ones so you can fulfill your God-centered goals and dreams. It's time for the reality of I am worth this investment of time and effort to sink in. You are worth it. I believe it. And God paid the price of his only son for you because he believes you are worth it. So settle in, grab a cup of coffee or tea, my favorite, as I dish out the hope of Christ by providing practical and biblical applications on how to love God, our families, and ourselves. Now, it's your turn to see that through Christ, hope will arise by bridging broken to breakthrough. I am grateful you decided to walk a mile with me, your host, Maria Wingard, on the Bridging Broken to Breakthrough podcast. I pray that through our conversation, Jesus reveals how he is bridging broken to breakthrough as we stroll through another mile in this journey called life. Hope will arise if you let him in your life today. To listen to past episodes or find out more, please visit hopewillarise.com.